Oh god! Okay. Oh no. Oh no. I'm so sorry. Ah! Why, hello everybody! It's me, Nova here, otherwise known as Kelsey, and welcome back to a brand new episode of NovaCraft! Yay! It has been a while um, since we've been on NovaCraft, and I apologize for that, guys. I've just been so caught up with balancing everything in terms of YouTube and college and I, I just I apologize guys but I did put a, a an update in the community tab if you guys were wondering why it took me so long also like I was just working on roleplay content for you guys um and that takes a lot of time out of my day to work with my team to get that content out to you guys but i am back and ready to play some more novacraft because believe it or not we are not done on this world yet no there is a lot more that needs to be done in this world before we can even do anything else and start a new world and so without further ado um, I wanted to let you guys know that in this episode, we are going to be doing a little fun thing today. And at the end of this episode, since it's been a while, and in honor of almost, I think, 12 episodes. I think we are at the 12th episode. Um, I figured we would do a little bit of a world tour at the end of this video. So stick around if you want a world tour. And anyways, let's go ahead and get on with today's um adventure so today guys i thought it'd be fun if we do a little thing rant that's it's random yes i know but i'm i i like to call myself a random person some, sometimes and the reason why i call this random is because i thought it'd be fun if we make a challenge to find it well every color of dye and also dye like f have a collection of armor um, that's colorful, I guess, is what I mean. So, we are going to be making a bunch of leather armor today, but in rainbow colors, because why the heck not? We like, we love rainbows here. Okay, guys, we love rainbows. Um, as you guys can see, I have a normal set of leather armor here. Um, I also have a texture pack on, guys. If you guys are curious of what texture pack I am using, I am using the Mizuno's texture pack. Um, 1.16.5 obviously, but it is amazing. It is adorable. I love this texture pack And if you guys want to get your hands on it, go check out the description down below because I have linked um, The texture pack there Okay, so without further ado all the introductions out of the way. Hello, Katie We are going to go ahead and get started with building more armor sets um, in rainbow colors, so um I think down here to get started I do have some dyes so yes so I have red dye orange dye yellow dye lime dye green dye cyan dye light blue blue I just have almost every color of dye that you guys can think of and you guys might be wondering where the heck am I gonna store all this armor well I was thinking about doing it down here in one of these random rooms that I have so I have this room right here that I need to like get I think this is andesite hold on let me let me andesite yes so this is andesite um I just need to put down some stone on this um and finish it off but other than that I believe um we will be ready to um fill up our storage area of colorful armor and I'm so excited guys because I've never done this before and it's interesting to say the least, to expand our armory um, to more than just a couple of things. So what we need to do, actually, is right now we need to get armor stands. So I'm gonna go ahead, oh, and we also have some leather pants that we can use for um, our armor set here. So I'm trying to think here, what do we need for armor stands. I believe we need slabs. Um, I believe we need sticks, which I did grab. And I believe we need, um, hmm. I think we just need sticks and in in slabs. So, really quickly. 
Let's see if I have any slabs. I don't see any slabs, but I guess I can make them. Okay, smooth stone. All right, and then we're gonna make smooth stone slabs because that's what we need to make armor stands. All right, so I've cleared out all my inventory. I'm just, well, not all of it, but I cleaned out a good portion of it because I know we're gonna need some of this stuff along the way. I'm gonna grab some more sticks here just in case because I know we're going to want to build uh, more armor stands. And I'm gonna grab all of this dye and all of the leather. I believe we have it upstairs. Oh no. Okay, so we might definitely need more leather. Um, so I think what's gonna happen is I'm gonna go, um, go to bed and we're gonna slaughter some cows. So I have a dilemma. Oh no. Okay, cows, come over this way. Come on, everyone. Come on this way. Okay, that was close. Okay. Almost all the cows almost escaped, but we're good now. We're good. All right, everyone come here. Okay, I did have a lot more cows than I thought I did. Oh my goodness, but we're just gonna go ahead and breed all of them. Um, and I'm so sorry guys for the frame rate. Okay, that is a lot better. Without the shaders, it is a lot less laggy and I'm pretty happy with uh, changing it back to normal Minecraft. So, um, now that we've bred our cows, I think... I want to try slaughtering them. I'm a little nervous that we might not get all that we need. Um, but you know, it's okay. We're gonna we're gonna try this out. Here we go. Oh God! Okay. Oh no. Oh no. I just hit the. I'm so sorry. Ah! That never happened. It. It never happened. I'm telling you this, it never happened. Well, <laughs> um, we just got slained by our um, iron golem. I'm a little bit worried of going back in there because I'm pretty sure the iron golem's gonna just uh, keep attacking me now. Let's just finish this up real fast and uh, try and get these cows. Oh boy. If one of them sees me, they're going to come after me. That's all I'm saying. I think what we're going to do now is start placing these um, armor stands. Um, and I'm going to make some more, actually. So give me a second. So what we will be doing is actually start crafting our armor. So the first armor that I'm going to craft is the red armor. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Here we go. All right, so now we have our red armor. So let's go ahead and place the boots, the leggings, the tunic, and the helmet. The, <laughs> the helmet looks like it has eyes. It kind of cracks me up a lot. Okay, um, the next thing we're gonna do is orange. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the pants because we have ourselves um, pants already. And then I'm gonna p make orange boots. I'm gonna make the chest plate and the helmet. And I ran out of, oh no, I ran out of leather. Okay, so that means we're gonna probably have to go get some more leather. So we'll probably just go do that. But okay, now we have orange and red. We just need a lot of leather, and then we'll have the full set. So I'm gonna go get some more leather. I'll be right back. Two hours later. <gasps> Cows! Rest in peace. Oh, they're so pretty. I'm so sorry, guys, but I, I, I need you for your leather. Time. No leather from that guy? Okay. Will you give us the leather we need? I can't tell if he gave us leather, but if he did... Alright. Llamas! You 
<gasps> oh, 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 I'm so sorry, Cherry. I'm so sorry, Cherry. Cherry, don't get in my way like that. Get out of here, cow. You're the reason why I almost killed Cherry. All right, so I am back from my trip and we got our, we got our leather and our beef. Well, the beef automatically came with it. We haven't been able to find Cherry, um, but don't worry, I'm pretty sure she'll come back. I hope, I really hope she comes back. Um, but for now, we can now focus on getting the rest of our armor because look at this, we are stacked. We got enough and if this isn't enough, I'm gonna be sad. So, let's go ahead and finish up our collection, shall we? Okay, so we left up on the lime, lime green. Next is our dark green. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get a chest plate. All right, and then I'm gonna get a hat. I, I did two leather tunics. Oh, I'm silly. I am silly, silly, silly. Wait, why can't it, why won't it let me make le um, leggings? Wait, okay. So we got a leather tunic. All right, we got ourselves the boots. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and make this one the blue one. Here we go. All right, we're almost done. We got light blue next. Oh, I'm stupid. I already have a leather tunic. No, I did it again. All right, so we got our light blue set. I want to see if we can go ahead and like um, re-dye this, but we need cocoa beans and I don't believe I have cocoa beans. I'm going to check upstairs just in case, but I'm pretty sure we don't have cocoa beans. I don't think we do in order to re-dye it back. Huh. That kind of makes me sad that we don't have cocoa beans yet. And I just realized we don't have enough for... Um, cyan, but we can make some more cyan. Lovely, okay. All right, I'm gonna start with these for now, for our cyans. All right, and boop. Okay, now we need the leggings. There we go, that's our cyan set. Ah, yes, shaders, my beloved shaders. That's so much better. Ah. You can see the color is a little bit better too. So now that we have our shaders on, let's go to finish. Let's go ahead and finish our last set here. Um, we're gonna do boom. I'm gonna actually. Mm, we gotta do the blue. So boom. Yes, that means I need to go and get some more. So be right back. 2,000 years later. Uh, cows, come to me. I don't want to have to do this again. Hey, Cherry, no. Cherry, hello. Okay, we found Cherry, everyone. Oh, thank goodness. I got really, really, really worried. Cherry, you scared me. Come on, let's go. Back home. Uh. Five years later. And we made it back. Oh my god, that took so freaking long to do. And we got definitely all the leather we need right now. Ooh. I'm not joking. Look at this. Oh my gosh. So yeah, we got all the leather we need right now. I had to throw out some steak because my inventory was getting full. But you know what? It's fine because um, we don't really need that much steak anyways. Um, so... Now that we have all our leather, let's just finish it up and do a world tour. Alrighty everyone, now that we have finished getting our little rainbow colored leather armor set, which was so much fun to do, 
we are now going to do a very special world tour yes that's right we are doing a very special world tour of my world because since it's been a while since the last episode i thought it'd be a good idea we refresh our minds and just check out what we, what we have in the world so far um granted not everything is um complete in this world and we still have a lot of things to do but um without further ado let's go ahead and get started all right so the first thing you guys will notice if you guys pop onto this world which by the way guys i will be oh there's a skelly here hold on let me just kill him real quick get out of here okay um the first things first if you guys end up joining this world you may end up spawning over there that's where I spawned um, first when I first entered this world. And then I just kind of came my way over this way and I found this place, which I thought would be really cool to build here. And it really has been really nice to build here um, so far. Um, so when you guys come on, that might be where you spawn or you might spawn in the place that I was last um, standing in the world, which is pretty cool. Over here is my house. Now, don't pay attention to some of the weird blocks that are just randomly on this house. Um, this is my starter house. Uh, this, I just, I love the warped doors in Minecraft. Um, so I just decided to, like, add this door here. Um, but that's just the point. If you guys come over here, you'll see my starter house. This is the front of my starter house. I got this design from Mythical Sausage. If you guys go to my first video, you'll be able to see his, um, tutorial linked in the description down below. Um, but I got this design from Mythical Sausage, and I honestly just absolutely love this house design. So over here, this is our entire world map. You, can, you guys can see our house right there where we're standing and you can also see the village that we have created so far which looks amazing honestly. I really love it. Um, we might have to actually update it soon but for now I think it looks fine the way it is. It, um, first you'll be greeted by my dogs and cats. Um, this is a newer doggo that I've uh, made been um, made best friends with. Um, but over here we have Cherry, uh, we have Lilac, and we have Parmesan, which you guys kind of uh, named him. Now you guys will be seeing a lot of cats actually around here um, because I am actually trying to achieve the role of um, getting all of the breed of cats as my friends. Um, also, this is Salem over here, by the way. Um, but anyways, so welcome everyone to my house. Um, the first thing you guys will be mainly greeted with is, yes, another kitty over there who doesn't really quite have a name yet, um, but you'll be greeted with like my chest. I have a chest full of dye. Um, I have chest full of nature stuff, um, a barrel for decoration, and um, just a whole bunch of miscellaneous Laneous, um, decorations and stuff over here you'll see my weapons um, that I put away in here when I'm not using them or not ready to use them yet here is where I make my banners um, I have a banner on my shield um, I made this a while ago I don't remember when I made it but I thought it looked cool because it kind of reminded me of Tangle tangled if I'm being honest. I did have banners just hanging off here um, but I took them down because I wasn't sure if they looked right or anything um, but this looks cool and you guys can see over here we also have a bunch of these pillage pillager raid banners that is because we had a pillager a pillager raid um, a couple a few episodes ago honestly and that caught me off guard I'm not gonna lie it was very intense um, but it happened and we finished it and it was cool and now we have a bunch of banners to showcase and more off our unlimited source of wood um, here I have just a bunch of random miscellaneous stuff I have a bunch of bookshelves because I am getting ready to build um, a witching tower, well, a, you know, a witch tower, or a wizard tower, and it's gonna be right back there, um, but we are not quite ready with it yet, and I think I'm gonna do a live stream later, um, on when 
we start gathering materials and stuff for it. Um, but and then over here is just our random blocks. Our nether rack is here. I'm actually gonna move this upstairs because um, a lot of it doesn't belong here. It belongs upstairs. Um, but yeah, that's the that's what is down here on my first floor. It's basically a bunch of storage and a living space. Um, and, but I'm not gonna show you guys my basement quite yet. Um, but if we go up here, oh, see, these are one of the uh, banners that I was talking about. Um, I made that through the loom, and it looks so cool, so cool, I tell you. Um, so. All right, so over here is where I actually store all of my netherrack. Um, but up here, actually, is where I store a lot more of my valuables um, that I need and want to keep safe. So over here is where I store a lot of my nether stuff, so netherrack in this um, chest. And over here is just more nether blocks that I get from the nether. Um, over here I have a bunch of treasure stuff that I got in from over the time from fishing or just exploring temples, um, etc. And also I have a bunch of discs because you can easily get discs if you have, um, skeletons shooting, um, creepers. And I forgot all about that and I just decided one day, you know what, I'm gonna just make a little contraption, which I'll show you guys later, of where I can have just endless skeletons, um, you know, uh, shooting at creepers. And I have a good, um, disc collection so far, which I'm pretty happy with. This is my jukebox where I play the discs. And over here is where I store a lot more of my books. Um, my enchanted books, um, my lapis, and my paper, and my leather. I also just have another uh, stack of bookshelves just lying around, which will actually be going to my um, wizard tower as well. Um, over here is where my bed lies. Um, we have another little kitty over here. It's a little calico kitty, and um, I still need names for... Um, the one other kitties in my house. So if you guys have any suggestions for names, feel free to comment them down below. But over here next to my bed, we have my ender chest, which this is where I have been storing a lot of my ender pearls. Um, likely I know where there's a warped forest in my, um, in the, the nether um, of my world. And I've just been farming a bunch of endermen um, and just killing them off and just I went back to another fortress as well and I just got a bunch of blaze rods and we've been um, preparing for finding a stronghold which I'm super exciting about excited about it might happen next uh, episode um, but for now, I just store these there. I don't know where or how I got these spectral arrows. I'm sure I got them somewhere um, from the nether, but they're just sitting there and I think they're so cool to keep in there and handy. Uh, yeah, so this is over here um, is my balcony and then over here is another staircase that you can kind of just come up from the outside, which I think is pretty cool. This can be kind of like, my um, emergency scare case if I really wanted to have one. Over here is where I store a lot of my other armor. So I am working on getting a chainmail armor set, um, but right now I have a iron armor set, a golden armor set, a leather armor set, and here is where my diamond would be, but I am currently wearing it and I'm pretty happy. But yeah, this is up by upstairs. Um, I did have an attic, but I kind of didn't really need it so I was like you know what I'm gonna get rid of it we don't need it so we don't need to worry about that but this was uh, my house tour uh, um, over here outside of my house as you guys probably saw earlier this is my horse fish um, I think the diamond armor just looks so good on you fish right now look 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 at him he's just slaying over here oh my gosh you're, you're so cool you're so cool fish I just want you to know that you're really cool. Um, 
I just realized I don't have a gate to get out of this. So, oh wait, yeah, I do. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> uh, but over here, behind my house, is where I store my beacon. Um, and down below, I've created kind of like a mine shaft, but it's really just like a strip mine. Um, but I put the beacon at the very bottom of my world. That way, oh, the very bottom of the, 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 yeah, my world. I'm just gonna say the very bottom of the caves because it would, uh, later on, it would kind of help with me mining and stuff. But if we go all the way down here, um, you guys will see that I've been mining a lot down here. But yeah, so over here is our beacon. I am currently just using iron for it. Um, but it works. It's just there for, um, helping me mine faster. And yeah, that's why I have a bunch of space out here right now. Um, I've just been mining a lot. And actually, there's some redstone here. I don't, don't mind if I do. I would love some, um, XP. Let me just grab that before this mob comes over here and just attacks me out of nowhere oh gosh here we go uh but yeah this is my beacon um i might use down here as like a big giant like storage area um but i'm not quite sure what i want to do with it yet if you guys have any suggestions of what i should use this part of my beacon for feel free to let me know i am open to any sort of build suggestions because i'm not much of a builder but I'm willing to get better at it. Here's where I just store a lot of iron stuff. But uh, if I ever need anything like coal or redstone, I know where to find it. So, yeah. Okay. So, enough about the beacon. Let's go ahead and go back upstairs. And, yeah. Also, this leads to my basement. So this is my basement. Underneath my basement, I have my ender portal, which I have decorated over here to look like an oasis, like a little mushroom oasis. And honestly, I am living for this design. I don't know what came over me. Um, I just thought, you know what? I want this portal to look whimsical and enchanted. And I think this really does the trick. I just added fences to keep the pig piglins from coming out and exploring everywhere they shouldn't be um and it made a little fountain here because i just thought it was so nice and it it's honestly just peaceful to look at there's so upon leaving my house once you guys have finished looking around and you've guys seen everything that my house has to store you guys will be greeted by this like little rail system and this actually leads down to my village but before i go to the village i want to show you guys where i've been getting my discs and stuff from so over here i have created a little trap um on one side of this trap this is where i would like just trap all the skeletons and like keep them here um and then on this side of the trap is where i would trap the creepers in a boat which is pretty risky um, but it works. I don't know how it works, but uh, it does. And it's pretty nice. So if I stand, and if I stand over here, the skeleton will see me and will shoot at the creeper that is in the boat. And eventually I get a CD, which is pretty cool. Um, so that is that contraption. And before I show you guys the village, I actually will head to bed real quickly because I don't want to die a bunch of times by... Um, mobs. So let's just go do that real quickly, shall we? Okay, it is the next day, and I think I'm ready to go visit the village. Alright, here we are at my village. This is my pride and joy. I took a lot of time to kind of expand this, and I built this village by hand. All of this wasn't here before. I built all of these houses myself and i'm actually very proud of myself for doing this over here is the garden for all the villagers and just extra food if i ever need it um we have beetroots over here would be more um wheat but i think i used that wheat to uh feed all the cows oops um yeah 
Um, this is my garden. And I'm actually inspired to... I was actually inspired by Stardew Valley to make this garden, believe it or not. Um, because I just love the style of what they looked like once they were finished. And I just thought it would be cool uh, to add the design in this village garden here. Um, over here is where I star store all that food. Um, but over here, uh, next to my garden, oh, 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 uh, beware of the berry bushes. But over here, next to my garden, I also have a tree farm. Here is where I get most of my wood and I farm most of it. Um, so that way I don't have to destroy any other nature surrounding my village. Um, and it doesn't, like, you know, interfere with anything else. I just like the, th the fact that this is kind of like an orchard and it's pretty cool um and that's my tree farm next to my village farm over here i guess we'll start hmm, i guess we'll actually start over here yeah so over here in this house this is where all my loom villagers stand um i i just kind of like the idea of category categorizing the villagers different type of villagers in different houses. Um, over here is where the sheep are, so I combined the sheep with uh, my uh, loom house, which is pretty nice. Hello. Hello, Iron Girl. Looks like you might need some um, iron to patch you up there, but no worries. I'll get that for you, too. Also, you guys may notice that I also have a bunch of a, a bee nest around here. That's because of my silk pickaxe, which is pretty cool. Well, I did have a silk pickaxe, but I think it broke. And, um, yeah, I used a silk pickaxe to kind of, like, collect the bee nests and bring them home. Over here is something that I'm most proud of in the village. Here is my tower. This is my guarding tower. Of course, I am not afraid to use it as like a villager housing system as well so I added a little bit of uh, beds and um, jobs for the for the villagers so that way they can also keep watching my towers if uh, uh, something happens and I'm not here um, and up here is where I have the full view of the village I love this view over here and it's really nice I get to see everyone doing their business down below and also I get to see the dock over here which is a really nice sight and just whatever foes may come about if they try to attack my village which I am of course referring to the notorious pillagers um, but yeah this is my uh, village tower I might make mul multiple of these and spread them about the village, but for now, I think one is just fine. Um, over here, next to my village tower, is my fox sanctuary. Um, I'm very nervous about opening this. I just don't want these guys to get out of here, but I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the inside. So over here is uh, where all the foxes can sleep if it's raining. I like the idea of making a little fox den because they actually live underground if you don't, if you believe believe it or not. And of course they have an unlimited, a limited source of food and are forever happy, I hope. Over here, next to my fox farm, we have a pair of llamas. I need to find a space for them, but I encountered them during one of my trips and expeditions outside of the village. And um, I just stored them here for now because I don't know where to put them. And I would love to ride them and like travel with them soon. Over here is um, where a bunch of my smith, um, like armor smith villagers are. They kind of just like, they're kind of spread out really. Um, we have a cart cover cartographer here as well. Um, but this is like a random job mixed house for villagers. Over here is where I store my pigs. Um, over here is where I keep my cows. And over here is my lectured villager farm. I have multiple of these. I I am very ambitious with getting a mending 
villager and I think I do have a mending villager at one point um, because I have mending on my sword now and my pickaxe um, and my um, axe and I don't know where he is he's probably somewhere around here but yeah I have been um, creating a lot of jobs for lecture villagers over here is where a lot more of my uh, kind of like cooking villagers are, I guess. And over here we have a cleric or two and, well, actually four. We have a lot of clerics. And here, just another, um, just another, uh, cooking villager. Um, over here is where I store all my chickens. Yes, I give them a very small space because I don't believe they need that much space. And I'm just gonna end up killing them all anyways because they're chickens. Legit, just chickens. And, um, I despise them. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, over here, past my chickens. I think I already showed you guys this, but this is where all my archers are, my archer villagers are, stonecutter villagers, all of them. Um, and over here, like I said, more lectern villagers. I'm very ambitious when it comes to finding um, natural bending villagers, and uh, it took a while, but I believe we found all of them that we need so and over here is where we store uh, a lot more clerics lecture villagers etc uh and i do a bunch of training with these guys and i started labeling them over here so like per bed like which villagers lay which and stay there um but yeah these villagers are more my lectern villagers over here is the library so we have a lecture villager but we also have a cleric, and the villagers can just come over here and read, which is pretty nice. Um, over here, next to the library, is where a lot more of our smelting villagers are, uh, just a bunch more of our, uh, weapons and stuff lay, and fishermen, because we also have a little space over here where the fish fishermen can just fish. And you guys can see I made this. I am very proud of this des uh, fountain de design. It looks a little different without the texture pack, um, but it I just love this design. We used to have a bunch of tropical fishies here, uh, but I don't know where they went, and I'm kind of worried. I think they might have accidentally uh, drowned in air somewhere. I'm not surprised if they did, um, but we at least have a codfish here, and he looks to be, you know, just a little bit stuck. I'll fix that, buddy. Here you go. I wouldn't be surprised if some of them suffocated by the amount of things in here. And maybe the fountain, because, oh boy. Well, anyways, I do love the design of the fountain, and I'm happy with how it came out and we have a bunch of fish here so yeah um outside of this place we also have a little place for a uh bee farm it's like a greenhouse garden i really love the design of this that i made uh, the bees can fly in and out from out there and they also have a home in here um but i also have a villager here that used to work for the the, the garden but I think I got rid of his uh, his village no actually his villager block is here okay he's a farmer villager that works in the greenhouse so yeah anyways that is the village that I have created and yeah it is getting nighttime and I think I'm gonna call it for the night because honestly I just don't want to die from mobs and it'd be really bad so alrighty everyone well that was it for my world tour of the nope of my Nova craft world if you guys like this and you want to see more 
um, Novacraft episodes in the future, or if you have any ideas of what we could do in Novacraft, please let me know in the comments down below. I am open to all ideas. I would love to continue to expand this world. I think absolutely next episode we will be doing um, an expedition of going to finding a stronghold because I think it's just time we get some an elytra. I don't know if we'll destroy the ender dragon quite yet because I don't think we're quite ready for that um, just yet. But I would love to find a bunch more biomes and also um, just get some Elytra soon. So I think next episode we'll definitely do that. Uh, but if you guys liked this episode, don't forget to leave a like. Comment down below what you think I should do next episode of Novacraft. And subscribe if you're new. That is all everyone. And I hope to see you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.